Hey Heart fans, I'm so glad you're back. Thank you very much. It means the world to me that you guys tune into this channel and watch all the cool stuff we do here. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe down below because it makes chocolate chip cookies taste even chocolatey or we've done testing. So I did a video a while back called Fairly Odd Parents Care. Well, I know it's called Overwatch Characters in the Fairly Odd Parents style. I can't talk. All right, we did a video a while back called, um, I almost said Overwatch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but right now it's time to do Fairly Odd. Sorry. All right, we did a video a while back called Overwatch Characters in the Fairly Odd Parents style. You guys really liked it. Here we go. Overwatch Characters in the Fairly Odd Parents style. Part two, check it out. Okay, before we go on, I've gotta to talk to you guys about this really awesome product I've just discovered. They're called Displates. That's right, D-I-S-P-L-A-T-E-S, -E Displates. They're um, really awesome metal posters you can hang on your wall. When you order your Displates, they come in this really cool box. It's, it's beautifully designed. I love the outside of the box and the inside of the box. There's this really cool die-cut logo in there. They come with stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? And the Displates themselves are really, really awesome. They stick to the wall using science. It's really kind of fun though. You stick the magnets to the wall and then the metal displays stick to the magnets. It's super cool. And unlike real posters, you can't rip them, you can't tear them, you can't shred them, you can't crumble them up. They will last probably through a nuclear war. So I think you guys will really dig them. I love old movie posters and just movie genre stuff, comic book stuff. I picked out a lot of really cool displays. I got a Back to the Future poster I've never seen before. Very cool. This awesome Iron Man image I got, a Superman image. Whatever type of art or image you like, displays has got it. Again, displays. They're awesome. Check them out. Hang them on your wall. Okay, first up is a very cool character from Overwatch. I'm going to put him with a very cool Fairly Odd Parents character. This is Soldier 76 with Jorgen von Strangle, Puny Fairy. Here we go. All right, Soldier 76. And, um, you know, these Overwatch characters are a lot of fun to draw, but they are very complex if you look at them drawn in their natural way. Fortunately for me, I'm a cartoonist who draws a little more uh, surrealistic than a lot of these guys. I mean, they do some amazing artwork for the Overwatch characters. I'm very fortunate I can simplify them a little bit. Soldier 76 is great. Pairing him with Jorgen, I think, is a great idea because Jorgen is also a soldier in a way, and he's got his own, you know, weapon, which is a giant wand. And I wanted a family, you know, friendly up Soldier 76 a little bit, so I put a, a giant star on the end of his gun so, you know, we don't get uh, too crazy on here. But anyway, Soldier 76 and Jorgen von Strangel. All right. I was very confused because I thought Soldier 76, there were 76 of them, and I only drew one. <laughs> <laughs> Such a hard voice to do. Okay, next up is a character. He's so cute, but has a giant mech suit. This is Wrecking Ball. Check it out. Okay, now Wrecking Ball from Overwatch is really cool. A hamster and a big mech tech metal iron ball. I wanted to add some magic wands in here. I thought we'd just family fire it up a little bit. Not actual guns, it's actual bullets, but I think this, he'd, he'd make it shoot magic right at Wanda because he'd have to battle Wanda. I'm gonna add Wanda in here in a second as the Wanda hamster. But again, these Overwatch, uh, these machines and stuff, they're so cool. But man, I just don't draw this way very often. I always draw very cartoony versions of um, machinery and stuff. So this was a challenge, but it was a lot of fun. I loved drawing this character. I love the character. I love the machinery for sure. And I love the effects that I can get on Procreate. So it's a lot of fun. So this is um, Wrecking Ball with uh, the Wanda hamster from Fairly Odd Parents. Oh boy, please don't. Please don't hurt me, Mr. Hamster. Uh, I think it'd be kind of fun to see what they talk about, you know? So here you go. Oh boy. Oh, Timmy, floating with you. If we did like a, 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 a Disney uh, espionage episode where Wanda had to sneak into Disneyland, she could actually pretend she's Mickey Mouse because of her voice. She'd put mouse ears on. Oh, just a harmless mouse here walking into the Magic Kingdom. No need to look at me differently. Mickey Mouse, huh? M-I-C, K, Red Fred Cosmo! This is really a weird video. All right, so here we go. Next up is Zenyatta. Very complicated character to draw. And I thought, you know, Zenyatta, mechanical, let's see. Ooh, we can put it with, I don't know, Dark Laser. Ooh, flipsy! Here we go. Yeah, like I said, Zenyatta is a pretty complex looking character. If you look at the Overwatch characters, most of them have tons of metallic uh, work on them. Lots of machinery, 
uh, very detailed. Zenyatta, uh, fortunately, is a bit more simplified because at least the legs are folded. <laughs> and I could, you know, the legs are these big, like, MC Hammer pants on, which is kind of fun. Dark Laser, of course, is a lot of fun to draw for me. I thought he was the perfect character to pair up with Zenyatta only because um, they both have metal faces, <laughs> I guess you could say. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what Zenyatta would do here. They, they both, I'm drawing them both as if they're kind of afraid of each other. Like, don't hurt me. You know, don't hurt me. Uh, uh, don't hurt me. I won't hurt you either. I'm, I'm Dark Laser. <laughs> Flipsy. Uh, Flipsy's not in this drawing. Uh, only because I don't think Dark Laser would want to subject Flipsy to this type of horror uh, of, of Zenyatta. But I, is Zenyatta a good guy? I don't even know. But we'll figure it out. Zenyatta and Dark Laser. Okay. Zenyatta, very mechanical. I like drawing mechanical things, but sometimes they're very detailed and, and, and brain brain blowing to bits. I'm talking like Captain James T. Kirk. You know, James T. Kirk and Timmy Turner have the same middle name, Tiberius. Did you know that? Okay, next character is Roadhog, combined with an epic character from Fairly Odd Parents, the Cosmo Cow. Boom. Okay, drawing Roadhog was a blast. I really love drawing him. Like I said, these Overwatch characters are very labor intensive as far as the detail on them. They're, uh, the artists who drew, drew these guys originally, or the artists, I should say, are just amazing. And uh, Roadhog is extremely cool looking. Uh, very Mad Max, obviously. I'm sure that's inspired by Mad Max. I love, yeah, he's called Roadhog, so he is Mad Max for sure. But I, I um, wanted to make sure I got as much of the detail in here as I possibly could. Again, we're drawing in the Fairly Odd Parent style, so it is simplified. But I want to make sure I, I capture the essence of Roadhog. And of course, the Cosmo Cow, a lot of fun to draw. Oh my gosh, uh, I'm a cash cow! That's from an episode. Anyway, but Roadhog is really cool. And I wanted to make sure that uh, if I were to put him in the Fairly Odd Parent style, that he's got to look like he fits into the show. So the way to do that is to simplify, um, simplify Roadhog, simplify his shapes, Simplify his detail, yeah, this guy's got so much detail on him, including the tattoo on his stomach. And there's a lot, a lot going on. But anyway, this is Roadhog with the Cosmo Cow. Okay, and last but not least, we're drawing two divas. Here we go. Yeah, and talking about two divas, we just draw Diva from Overwatch, who's a great looking uh, character, just a, a great design on her. Very, very super cool anime inspired uh, character. All the all the Overwatch characters look very anime inspired to me. I could be wrong, that's kind of what they look like to me. Um, they kind of remind me of Street Fighter characters from a long time ago. But anyway, uh, this is D.Va. And as I was drawing D.Va, I'm like, what Fairly Odd Parents character can I put D.Va with? Who's a D.Va in Fairly Odd Parents? I mean, who really thinks she's all that and of course the obvious answer no not timmy's mom no not wanda no not tootie of course it's vicky vicky the babysitter thinks she's all that no one's gonna mess with her no one's gonna mess with me twerp because i think putting her with diva was the perfect choice i just think vicky vicky not that vicky is jealous of her but i don't think vicky wants any other you know girl on her turf so this is uh vicky and diva check it out okay uh, that was Overwatch characters in the Fairly Odd Parent Style Part 2. Let me know which one was your favorite down in the comment section below. And what other Overwatch characters should I draw? There's so many now, it's kind of crazy. But I really love drawing them. What other video games should I do as well in the Fairly Odd Parent Style? How about video games in the Danny Phantom Style? Ooh, there's an idea. Ooh, I like when I... Ooh. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, don't forget, art gives you power. Use it. And your voices. Oh! wisely. Hey Heart fans, subscribe here to keep up with me, Danny, Timmy, Dudley, Bunsen, and the Noob Network, my new app full of cartoons, shows, and games. Download it here. Click over here to watch my most recent video and here to start a playlist related to this video. Whoa, check out that awesome fan art. To be featured here, use hashtag heartfanart and tag me. I'm on every social media platform known to man. Cartoon Butch out. Pencil drop.